Hello guys, in this video hopefully I'm going to teach you how to fix a computer with Windows 10 that is stuck at the screen, sometimes uh, with the spinning logo right here, but for me it takes a while even for that logo to appear and I can leave it for a few hours, it will not boot up. Most people have this issue because of uh, driver problems. When a driver gets updated, you add a new component, something like that. So the easiest way to fix this is to basically shut down your computer and remove uh, as much as you can from the components uh, that are plugged into the USB, like keyboard, mouse, wireless in this case, anything else that you can remove that's non-essential, remove it power on your computer and uh, of course the USB components you can plug them in after Windows has already started up. If you add it a graphics card or something like that, try to remove that card, uh, power on your computer with the old one, see if everything is ok and then uh, uninstall the driver from the old one and uh, plug in the new one and try again. As you can see, for me disappeared, but yeah, still not uh, starting up. So uh, I'm going to unplug everything uh, and see how it goes. If that doesn't fix it, I'm going to unplug my graphic card and plug in the old one to see what happens. Okay, for me unplugging uh, all of the USB stuff uh, didn't solve the problem, but as I know that I upgraded the graphics card. Uh, a, a few hours ago, I'm almost sure that uh, the driver from the graphic uh, card causes this problem, so I'm going to remove the new one, put in the uh, old one, and uh, go from there. So, uh, either Windows updates some driver and that driver messes things up, either you update a component and uh, your component doesn't have a good driver and things get messed up. Yeah, it's quite weird but let's do this okay guys as you can see lots of hard drive activity the second I put back my old uh, graphics card and took out the new one Windows is starting rather slowly because uh, probably 10 or 20 times I tried to start it uh, so now it's uh, fixing stuff but it is starting and it's not getting stuck and sorry for the noise, uh, on this PC this fan right here is uh, broken, so it makes all kind of uh, noisy rattles. Uh, I will let it boot into Windows and then uh, continue from there. We are booted into Windows. It booted slower than uh, normal, because as I said before, uh, the fact that it tried to boot several times without a success uh, probably messed up, uh, messed up its files, but uh, it will uh, fix itself without issues. Now I'm uninstalling the drivers from the GPU because I'm 99% sure that uh, this is what's causing the problems. Somehow it's trying to use those drivers uh, for the new one, which is from the same series somewhat, so yeah, it messes things up. Drivers uninstalled, now I will just uh, shut it down, put the new card in and restart it. Ok, sadly for me that was not a fix, so something somewhere is still uh, creating a conflict, so I need to investigate a bit further. If nothing works, uh, firstly shut your computer down a few times when it's trying to boot into Windows and in the end it will try to enter uh, automatic repair, so let it do that. Of course this will still be pretty slow. Nothing that I tried actually worked. So I'm again back in Windows because I don't want to reinstall Windows. Reinstalling would be the easy way. And I just realized that uh, although I uninstalled the driver, they are still here because uh, 
that was not a driver installed by Windows itself that you uninstall easily, you'd have to come into Programs and Features and uninstall it from here. So yeah, I'm going to uninstall them from here and then put this card back, of course without... Uh, uh, okay, it's found new drivers while it was uninstalling, great. Uh, without uh, letting it restart, after it deletes all files, I will uh, put this card uh, back in because if I let it restart, it will start finding drivers for this card again. So yeah, cancel the restart, shut down, put this one in and see where we go. But first, let it find whatever driver it found. Let's try and see what we can uninstall. Hopefully it will work. Nope. I have to wait to do it. Okay, it finished what it was doing, so this time uh, uninstall will work. So I'm going to uninstall these drivers. Do not restart now. Start later. Uninstall everything that... Yeah, I think it's already removed everything that has to do with the graphics card because in our case this is the culprit. But in your case, with whatever USB or other card or drive or hard drive or whatever you you found out that is causing the problem, uninstall everything. Something changed. Still not getting into Windows fast, but there is lots of hard drive activity. So hopefully it's actually doing something, so yeah, I have no other choice for the moment than let it do its thing, hopefully it starts. And we are on. It took more than half an hour to boot first after uninstalling the drivers, but uh, in that time it had uh, hard drive activity from time to time, so it was clearly doing something. And now I just made it search itself for the drivers for this card and give it a quick restart and uh, that should be about it. But yeah, first if you have this issue, unplug everything that you can, mostly USB things. Then think what you changed last and try to unplug that and plug the last one in. And in the end if that, that doesn't fix it, it could be even hard drive failure, memory failure, CPU, graphics card, so who knows, lots of things. But try everything that I said uh, in that order and uh, yeah, I hope you get it sorted. So uh, let's uh, let this thing uh, found its drivers.